Iman Gazi is one of the fastest growing business influencers on YouTube, TikTok and Instagram. But how does he do it and can we replicate his editing style? Well, after analyzing hundreds of his reels, I found the easiest solution to edit videos just like him. All you need is these two tools and the document that I've listed in the description with all the resources for this tutorial. Seriously, I've put so much time and effort into this video, I hope you guys like it because it took me a while to make this. The first tool that I've used is CapCut. We use this for basic trimmings and some effects. But most of the work will be done through Submagic. And Submagic was kind enough to share a discount code with me. If you use the code DANKEEF90, you get a 10% discount off your subscription. This is the style that we're going to replicate. I would rather be a janitor and keep my principles than be a billionaire by breaking backs to get there. So let's get started with a clip through CapCut. So the first thing that we do is we download all of the resources that I've listed in this document right there. You can find this in the description. And once you've downloaded all of these resources, import them to CapCut and then we can get started with the editing. So step number one is trim your clip. I'm not gonna show you how to do this because this is pretty straightforward. So now we gotta decide where we want to place or background overlays. For example, I have it uh, right here. And then let me just go through it. These three things. So when I mention these three things, I have some sort of animation going on and I want to have it for this length. These three things, Iman. So now I'm gonna cut this. And now what you want to do is you want to select it, make it full frame. And now we have this effect going. Doing these three things, Iman Gatsi. So the other parts where I want to have it is at these part where I say like number one, master the art of storytelling. And I have like number two, do this, number three. Um, because I'm not even looking at the camera, then I want to have an overlay. So for this, I'm gonna use this black paper effect. I'm gonna position it right here. And the best thing is you only have to do this once. Once you have done this effect, you can copy and paste it to all the other effects as well. So now we import our text. We go to text and we click on default text. Then we kind of position it right here. Drag it over to there. So my default text will be a bunch of question marks. Don't worry, I will make it look better right now. I'm gonna go to bubble. And here we have all different kinds of bubbles that you can choose from. You can do this one. So the one that I'm using is called study plan. You can find it like right here. And now we're gonna use a different text. Um, I'm gonna go with the Montserrat font. And then I also want to switch to this text. And now we can start like animating this. The effect that I have on here is a flying in screen. That's not like an effect right there. It's more of a position change. So how this works is you drag over the text bubble that you have, you drag it all the way down, and now you hit on the animation screen. So I'm gonna add a keyframe right here, and then further on in the video where I want to have it appear. So I'm just gonna zoom in on my timeline. I'm gonna do it one, two, three, four keyframes. Then I want to make it position back. So now I'm gonna drag it all the way over here. And now a new keyframe has been added. So this is how it works. These three things. And now to make it even more smooth, we can add a fade in effect. And we do that by going to animation and we use the fade in tool. These three. And now we have the fade in during that position. So I'm going to prolong it a little bit. These three things. So you actually see it. These three things. These three things. And now we can copy and paste this for all the other ones that I have because I mentioned like these three things. So now I'm gonna just, let me zoom out a little bit. Now I'm gonna just hit Command C or Control C, whatever you're using. Then I'm gonna drag it over. I want to have this a little bit later. And now for this one, I want to have the position, like this position, I want to have that up here just below it. And now I'm gonna do the same again. And now for this one again, hit the keyframe, drag it just a little bit below there. And now we should have something like this. These three things Iman Gatsi gained over tuna. So that's the first effect that we're doing for our videos. Later I will show you how to add film burns, 
and I will also show you how to add captions in a different tool. But for now, let me just go through this, do this also for the paper effect. So for the paper effect, I'm gonna do it slightly different because I also want to have a typewriter effect. So let me show you how you can do this. So for the paper effect, same as last time, we want to drag this all the way to the corner to have this fit on full screen. And now we can start adding in our text. So for the text, again, I'm saying in this video, number one. So I'm gonna say number one. And then I want to have the text be in a bigger font, which is Montserrat. Then I want the font size to be a little bit bigger. And then I want to have an animation in there. And that will be the typewriter effect. So to create the typewriter effect, we're gonna go to animation and then we hit the typewriter effect. Number and now we can adjust the speed to make it faster or slower. So the further you bring it to the right, the slower it goes. And the more you bring it to the left, the faster it goes. Number one. So I like it like this. And now I'm just gonna copy this one, change this, adjust the size. And now I can change the text as well. So my text is Master the Art of Storytelling. And then I'm gonna adjust it a little bit. And I already have the typewriter effect on it. Now I can just check if it makes sense. Number one, Master the Art. So it is going way too quick. So I'm just gonna animate it, make it a little bit slower. Number one, Master the and then what I'm gonna do to spice it up a little bit, I'm gonna select this text, change the color to red to make storytelling stand out more. So now to make this sound better, we're gonna add the typewriter sound effect. So I already have this file in my media, so I'm gonna drag it over like this is the file. And now we're gonna drag it at the right position where we need to have it. So for this entire duration, we want to have that typewriter effect. And I'm gonna lower the decibels a little bit because it's quite loud. So now it sounds and looks like this. Number one, master the art of storytelling. Don't just... So what we now can do is we can copy and paste this thing for all the other parts where I have like number one, number two, number three, or where I want to have this typewriter effect with the paper texture effect. So what I'm gonna do for this, I'm gonna click on the effects that are included. I'm gonna hit command or you can use control. Then I'm gonna select all the parts that I want to copy. And now I'm gonna hit Command C or Control C, whatever you use. And now I'm gonna drag over to the part where I have that again. So that's right here. And then I'm just gonna hit Command V. And now this effect is pasted and now I can just slightly adjust it to make it like number two. And this is how you speed up the editing process. So now it looks like this. Recycle your content. So now to make it look even better, we add the film burns. And this is one of the film burns that I have. I've listed this one in the document as well. So now we're gonna drag it over and now we're gonna cut out the film burns that we want to use. So from that 24 second clip, I've cut out these three film burns that I like the most. And these are the ones that I will be using for this video. I would suggest using different ones uh, on different parts so that you don't see like a repetitive thing going on. So now we're gonna drag them over to the part where we want to have them. And now to make this look smooth, you have to click on blend and then you click on screen. We now do the same for the other transition and now our video looks like this. Doing these three things, Iman Gatsi gained. The last effect that I'm gonna show you is the particles effect. Iman uses this in some of his videos. So I've listed a particle effect in the document that you can find in the description. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna import it. We're gonna drag it over all the way to the screen. And then we're gonna hit the screen mode. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mask it because I don't want to have the particles on my face. I just want to have it like right below my shoulders. And to do this, we're gonna create a mask. And to create a mask, I'm gonna create a circle. I'm gonna drag the circle over here, make it a little bit bigger. And now we have the particle effect just on that part. What you now want to do is you want to use the part that you need it for. So I'm gonna drag it right here. And then I'm gonna copy this on all the parts where I have myself on the screen. So those are basically all the effects that you're gonna use. I'm gonna now finish up this video and then we're gonna import it to Submagic. After you've signed up to Submagic, then you can now upload your video. I have the video right here. And now we can start uploading this. The language must be English. And now we can hit upload. And what Submagic does is it adds great looking captions. I have some templates available for you. If you want to try them out, then click the link in the description. You can find a Google Doc in there. 
And in that Google Doc, I've listed all the screenshots that you need to create good looking templates that look just like Imangatsi. Because it takes way too long to add captions in CapCut, I'm gonna do it with Submagic. You can use CapCut as well, but I don't wanna spend like hours to create this style while well, I can do it with just five minutes of my time. So within Submagic, we're gonna change the mistakes that it has made. For example, Imangatsi, it made it into Emagatsi. Uh, we don't want that, so let me just change this. Imam Gatsi. And now I'm gonna change all the mistakes in here. Now we can change the font of your captions. Within Submagic, you have the Imam style right here. And this one looks great already. It is already animated and has everything in there. This is the classic Imam style that has been used the most through his profile. But there are also a few other styles that he uses, which is the Imam Bold font and the Iman Bold font in white. So depending, for example, on your shirt color, you might want to change to the white one. So I would suggest creating both of these three styles, which you can find in the document. I have listed all the files in here. These are all the presets of this file, and you can just copy this, and then you have the exact Iman font that you can use in your videos. So for now, I'm gonna go with the classic Iman Gatsi style font, and now we can just fine tune a few of our captions. So within a few minutes, I managed to change my captions and to make it look all smooth. On the parts where I have like this overlay, I don't have captions because I already have like this effect going on where I already have the words on the screen. So I don't want to add captions on top of that as well. Now, the last thing that we can do is to add some zoom ins and zoom outs. We do that at the B-roll section. So within the B-roll section, you can actually add like B-rolls on a specific word. So for example, if we want to find B-roll for this, then we're gonna click on add. And now we can find B-roll to attach to this scene. But because Iman doesn't really use that kind of B-roll, he only uses B-roll of himself, like recorded by his camera crew, uh, we're not gonna add this. But what we can do is we can add some zoom in effects. So for this, we have two different options. We have the dynamic effect and we have the progressive effect. The dynamic effect is a fast zoom in. Let me show you. And we have the progressive effect and that's a slow zoom in. So let me show this. So for the first sentence, I would always go with the dynamic effect because I think this looks pretty cool. So now we can add all the zoom ins and outs to our video and then we're pretty much done using Submagic. By doing these three things, Imangatsi gained over 200k followers in 30 days. Number one, master the art of storytelling. Don't just tell how to do something, create a story behind it. Number two, recycle your content. Iman reuses three different content formats, YouTube videos, podcast clips, and motivational videos. All can be created by either using Submagic, Opus Clip or CapCut. So that's basically how you edit your entire video through Submagic and CapCut. And I would say you can just use Submagic alone if you have a trimmed down version of your video. You barely even have to use CapCut, but you can use it of course to make it even better with CapCut. And if you want to try out Submagic, then definitely use the discount code to get a extra 10% discount on top of your subscription. And if you like this video, then please leave a like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.